Here I am having a beautiful picnic with Amy Aiden. And and what's your name? Maya. Can you say g'day mate? G'day me. <laughs> yeah, we're having a beautiful day in the park here in Kumamoto, which is where the earthquakes happen in Japan. And as you can see over here, there's um, some trainee kamikaze pilots. Oh, ah. Anyway, um, it's, it's, you know, what strikes me about here is that I've gone, not all around the world, but to a lot of places, um, so has my girlfriend, um, who I've known for fucking 20 years when I was a, I met her when I was a clown in Japan. We haven't always been both boyfriend and girlfriend for 20 years, we've fucking, you know, had some fucking other roots as well, but we side up 20 years, oh yeah, fuck it, we'll have some kids. And first one was born in India, second one, Eden was born in Bali, and we've pretty well lived in Thailand the last year in between me touring with Gary and we're visiting relatives here in Japan, so fucking my thoughts about this place here is it's fucking, it's just Japanese, there's not even Koreans, Thai, fucking any other Asian, I can tell the difference. Fucking, you know, a bit like some people don't know how fucking the difference between a Kiwi and a... The difference is Australians don't fuck sheep as much but um a few people like me fucking certainly fucking nudge the average up and so yeah it's not exactly multicultural and i, I fucking think that's pretty cool <laughs> like as much as um i you know i think fucking multiculturalism is good when i go to a different country i want to see some when i'm in india i want to see some fucking indians and some in thai i want to see some fucking thai and i want to fucking see what they do and i mean Essentially here, this is all Japanese, but it's not that much different. It's very Western lifestyle. There's fucking cars, there's a flush toilet over there. There's some fucking slides and there's a fucking statue and people are eating food and they're wearing clothes and kicking balls and fucking, you know, doing shit. You know, the only weirdo is fucking that fucking gaijin guy out in the corner there with a camera fucking filming children. But, you know, they're, they're cool. No one's fucking, no one's fucking into me here. No one's fucking, I don't get shit for being a foreigner but by the same token I'm not demanding that I be treated like a Japanese even no matter how many fucking half Japanese kids I have because I'm not and that's the thing I mean this statue up here fucking look at this look at this fucking statue th up here guy up there just fucking looking a bit like Hitler I don't know who he was he was fucking hundreds of years ago um but I mean well, think about okay let's go there think about Germany and Japan in the 20th century, in the 1930s, when the rest of the world was having a fucking massive depression, Germany and Japan were fucking rocking economically. And the simple reason is that they took control of their own money creation. They basically said, we'll fucking print our own money, we won't borrow it off the central bankers. I don't give a fuck who these central bankers are. I'm not into, oh yeah, they're fucking Jewish globalists or Illuminati, fucking reptiles on the other side of Saturn. I don't give a fuck, you know. If I see a fucking reptile on the on the road, I'm not going to fucking swerve over it just because I think, oh, fucking your cousins are fucking, nah, oh, these people are, let's call them what they are, they're fucking central bankers, some of them might be reptiles, they're all fucking different races and religions, but whoever the fuck they are, they're central bankers, and they create money, and they give it to all the countries, and except fucking three, I think it's Iran, Cuba, and North Korea who don't get their money from them, but they, they're pretty well starved economically anyway by sanctions and shit, so the whole world's pretty well borrowing money off these people and creating debt and fucking, we're borrowing this money, what, what's it going towards? It's going towards fucking welfare and warfare. It's like, you know, I met Yumi 20 years ago, not because Australia was being fucking bombed and I thought, oh yeah, Japan's a good welfare state. I was fucking travelling and I've got a clown gig in Japan, so... That's how it happens, and that's how I think um, fucking integration should happen, just fucking naturally. I'm, I'm not into fucking, oh yeah, you should fucking interbreed with other races, and I'm not into fucking, you should breed with your own race. I don't give a fuck, man. But if someone else wants to breed with their own race, fucking, they should be loud and proud about it and be able to do that. And if someone wants to fucking, you know, breed with another race, fucking that, that's fucking fine as well. And when I say breed with another race, they're fucking humans. It's not like the Europeans 50,000 years ago fucking Neanderthals, who were a different fucking animal, but it was like fucking donkeys and horses rooting and creating a mule or whatever the combination is. I mean, fuck whoever you fucking want to fuck, really. Once you start going around telling people who you should fucking breed, 
That's fucking wrong, mate. Unless they're trying to, you know, it's a human trying to fuck a donkey. You know, sure, give the cunt a tap on the shoulder and go, mate, it doesn't matter how many times you do that. It's just not going to fucking happen, mate. Um, but, you know, if you're doing it for pleasure, fucking, you know, leave the cunt alone. If, you know, if the donkey's fucking handling it, you know, oh, fuck, mate. It's probably, you know, anyway. You know, basically what I'm saying is, if you're going to fuck an animal, fuck a donkey, not a squirrel, because it's just, it fucking doesn't hurt him as much, you know what I mean? Donkey doesn't even fucking feel it. Anyway, I'll fucking sidetrack. Basically, what I want to say is um, all this multiculturalism which has been forced on us around the world, to me, it's by the central bankers, mate. They're funding all our national debts and going, you put it into welfare and warfare. Whereas when you nationalise money, which is what fucking Hitler did and what JFK tried to do and what Gaddafi was trying to do before they fucking shot him, is just create your own money and, and the idea of creating your own money has got such a bad reputation it's like oh yeah why oh, are you going to just fucking hand it out to can't tell you that's fucking bullshit no no it's not about that at all it's not about what Kevin Rudd our Australian Prime Minister did um, in the GFC in 2007 where he just fucking borrowed all this money off the central bankers and just fucking gave it out for free for people gave everyone 300 bucks to stimulate the economy no fucking nationalising your own money it's not about fucking giving away free money for that shit it's about giving money to the resource creators, the people who create stuff, like in particular renewable energy, locally grown food and preventive medicine, the shit like that creates resources and, and, and real wealth which depreciates the money source below zero. We're on zero at the moment. Fucking they're flooding the money, the market, they're flooding the world with money and you know, central banks were there as a lender of the last resort. They've, they've fucking done quantitative easing, which, don't be scared by that word if you haven't heard about it, or you fucking heard about it and go, fuck, you've lost me now, Jim. It's just central banks creating money, counterfeiting money, creating out of thin air and just fucking handing it out so that we're more and more dependent on it and creating more and more regulations and rules and taxes so that we fucking have to pay them back. We have taxes, what the fuck is that? The Internal Revenue Service in America was created in the same year, 1913, as the... Federal Reserve in America, which was basically when they um, took over the fucking money printing in America by private own interest. Said, oh, we'll fucking print the money and give it to you as a lender of, of the last resort, which is a, an argument which is held up until now. Central banks now are now going to governments. Can you help us? We've fucking pumped all this money into the system. Interest rates are zero. Can you do it through fiscal policy? And the governments have got no fucking idea, man. There's not, they're not elections at the moment. They're... they're they're not rigged elections, they're rigged selections, man. No one's going to get in fucking talking about nationalising money. And nationalism, man, is sort of seen as, well, fucking really bad. I've got fucking half-race children here, I can fucking say this. I think nationalism is fucking good, man. Um, you know, it's, it, sh it, it, sh it should have a voice, man, and people who fucking who stand up for it shouldn't be just automatically fucking put down as racist, man. It's fucking bullshit. Um, We've got to create our own money, and um, there's no need to do it now. There's so much fucking money, and 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 people in the world. We don't need any more money and people, man. We just need to just cut all the rules and regulations out, and fucking use the money and the people we've got and the ideas to create a fucking better world, which is fucking easy, man. Just get rid of this war and welfare and put it into money into the resource creators, people that create food and health and stuff and that's what I'm trying to do with my business I'm just creating entertainment I could go off and make shirts but man I, I just want to make videos each day you know fucking that's all that's my resource man I don't want to go off and fucking do another job and sell fucking products to someone else so they can trickle back money to me fucking someone else wants to make t-shirts cool I might have to do it I'm fucking borrowing money off mates at the moment thanks Matt and Dave um but, you know, I'm not fucking heavily in debt because I don't have a fucking full-on lifestyle. We don't own a house. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying is, um, what's the fucking story with money, man? It's a universal thing. It's not a cultural thing. we fucking all got it now. It's illusionary. Oh, we we're passing on this debt to our grandchildren. Get fucked, man. Future generations are going to look at us now like we look at, you know... Um, cultures that go, oh, don't fucking do that, otherwise the dead or fucking dead ancestors will come up and fucking terrorise you, and you think, oh, that's superstition. It's a superstition that people are going to look back and go, oh, they'll fucking worry about that debt they're going to pass on to us. It's imaginary. Money doesn't fucking exist in any physical form. It's, it's, it, you can, 
all the all the national debts, they can add a million zeros to each country's national debt, and it'll still be the fucking same, man. Look at Japan. Japan here, this is a fucking, this is, this, people think, feel sorry for Japan because they've got the biggest debt in the world, 200% of GDP in debt. Australia's got about 30%, which is fuck all, our debt's blown out, but it's nothing percentage-wise compared to other countries. America's about 100%. But um, Japan, they're in fucking heaps of debt, but who gives a fuck, man? It's, it's, there's fucking heaps of free childcare here, it's fucking heaps of free shit, it's not as much, and it's cheaper than Australia, and man, there's no terrorism here, and... And there's fucking zero drug problem here, man. There's no one fucking drug fucked here. You fucking take anything more than alcohol or cigarettes, mate. You are locked up. And I'm not talking three hots in a cot. Fucking beauty, lock me up. I'm talking fucking hard labour where well, you've got to sit in a lotus position all day and be fucking silent for 20 years because you have a joint. So, um, yeah, there's, there's, um, fucking... There's a lot to be learned from fucking different cultures, but we've all got to learn something about money. We've all got to be educated on money. It's, 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 it's the heart of the nationalistic issue. Print your own fucking money, man, and get free of this national debt to the central bankers. And once countries do that, fucking, we're going to be fucking not faced with this fucking war and chaos which is happening in the world now. They're just going to create open borders and just fucking create chaos and then come in and go, oh, we're the solution. They're already there. They can't reveal themselves now. Anyway, that's my opinion. It's not, I'm not saying it's fucking right or wrong. I'm just some fucking some cunt having a go. And I do all these opinions on a separate Gary page, but I actually like people writing in and just saying, calling me up on something or telling me something or disagreeing. You know, not the people going, oh, I'm unsubscribing, you're fucked, and just personal abuse and you know which always ends up in oh this happened to me as a kid like fucking say that shit on your own page man um i'm just talking about money here fucking what the fuck is it it's 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 nothing man i can't repeat that enough no one can even fucking refute it either when i say it's nothing i'm not talking about oh yeah would you mate you give us all your money no i'm talking about it's nothing physically it's as real as santa claus or a fucking unicorn it's got no, it's not, no, money does not exist on the periodic chart. It's not backed by gold or anything. So humanity, collectively, let's fucking um, tell me through the internet what the fuck is money and why are we fucking getting into debt to these central bankers? Their services are not needed now. They've even admitted it. They, no much how, and how much money they pump into the system or how much they lower interest rates to zero, once it goes below zero, it's fucking, they're redundant, man. Let's fucking go there. And um, renewables, locally grown food, preventative medicine, fucking abundance, freedom. I'm not here to fucking create jobs with the boat goat thing. I'm here to fucking, fucking, fucking get rid of jobs, mate, so that people can work, work on the things they love. I love making these videos. I don't want to make fucking t-shirts and flog ads. And I think everyone else should fucking work at something they want to do. A fruit tree doesn't go fucking, oh yeah, I don't want to give out fruit. Couldn't be fucked. You want to give out fruit, man. So fucking... Let's fucking, um, oh, no. fucking tell us about money, man. I'm off. Let's get some fucking cash off my girlfriend and buy a drink.